This is Rob Tubber for ID Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Salt Bay, Anthony Cruller. We're here at Tyson Fury versus Derek Chisora, free at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. How are you, Ant? Mate, I am good. A few days, busy few days here in the capital and um, looking forward to the big fight Saturday, but I am, I won't be here Saturday night. I've got the joy of having two of my lads on in six, eight rounders and a show in Bolton. So yeah, no place I'd rather be. Real boxing though, that's real boxing, none of this stadium malarkey. Yeah. Just keeping it real, keeping it real, but no, yeah, I've got uh, Jake James on and James Moorcroft on a Steve Wood show. It'll be a good little show, good little venue. How are you finding kind of, I mean, not transitioning because you already have now into to life as a trainer and having your own fighters. How does it compare for, for lacing up the gloves yourself? Do you know what? It's a lot more time consuming and because when you're a fighter, you have to be a bit selfish, don't you? So I think when, you, when you're a coach, obviously, and you're dealing with an handful of other fighters, you've got to treat each one different. And it is, you're in the gym more than ever. But like I say, like you... You get that buzz, obviously, a lot of fighters miss the buzz of not fighting, not making that ring walk, that adrenaline pumping. But when you've got a fighter, when you've been working on something for weeks or months of full training camp, you, you get great satisfaction and a great buzz out of them carrying that out. And um, obviously, if they don't, then that's like the lows of when something doesn't go right for you in a fight. So, yeah, no, I feel that that keeps the drug, that, keeps the, that feeds the addiction. What do you miss most about boxing as in fighting and what do you what are you glad you don't have to do anymore um, what do I miss most about do you know what it, it was the fight nights um, I've just like I probably realised yeah I've got a bit of an ego on me so I, I miss them do you know walking out in front of thousands cheering your name and that adrenaline that, that buzz that you can it's a very hard thing to replace so that's what I miss and even then I, when, I'm, when I'm there at shows and stuff more likely when I'm at the Manchester Arena, the AO Arena now, um, I will, it'll hit home probably a bit more, but I'm still happy to be there, do you know what I mean? But you just, you do, you think back to those nights. Um, things I don't miss, I'm probably a little less disciplined now. You've seen it once or twice, yeah. I, uh, you know, I don't mind the odd drink, I like my food. I think most fighters would say that, and it's just, it comes, boxing's a very stressful job. It comes with a lot of pressure and it doesn't matter. You know, I used to say to myself, you know, I'm lucky to be under pressure. There's loads of fighters who would love to be, you know, headlining shows at the arena or, you know, boxing for titles. So, I mean, it worked hard, but, you know, I've got, you've got to try and embrace that pressure, but it does, it does take its toll. So, yeah, it's, it's, you can be a bit more relaxed about things. You can worry about other things now. You mentioned there about kind of walking away from the sport and it's something that we've heard both Tyson Fury and Derek Chisora talk about Tyson has said you know he he's kind of admitted to himself that boxing's going to retire him that he doesn't feel that he's going to you know walk away from the sport of an unblemished record I mean I know Tyson kind of changes what he says depending on what side of the bed he gets out of in the morning but you can understand that from what you've said there yeah definitely it's, it's something hard to let go and I always fought with me I fought when I knew I wasn't the fighter that I felt I once was. I thought I had to get out because I've, I've seen it with people who have been close to how it affects them, how it affects the speech, even the balance and stuff. And I thought, I didn't want to be that person. Listen, you might not be able to earn as good money, but if you can make a living doing something else, there's easier ways to make a living than getting punched in the head, isn't there? So, but especially when you're getting punched more often because maybe reflexes aren't there because you're not the fighter that you once was. So yeah, no, massive let it was him. And I just believe that I wish that more fighters would prepare themselves for that end game. You know, when when time is right, it's come on. And it's hard because people are like, that's all I've ever knew. And not everyone's in that position. So it's always nice to have something to fall back on. But it's just, it, it can be very damaging, can't it? So I just, I just wish that certain fighters, like you see certain fighters losing to fighters who they would have never dreamed of losing to. And I think a little bit of that is having pride. And maybe sometimes, it sounds a bit harsh because I don't mean it, but they sell the pride because they think, no, I want the money. It's, I won't get the money other ways. And they're, they're probably doing it for the right reason. It might be to support the families. It might be to pay bills. But yeah, I just think, you know, try and keep your pride. I hate to see fighters lose beneath their level. I think we all know that Anthony Crawler versus Vasily Lomachenko a few years before it happened would have gone a completely different way. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about Tyson Fury and Derek Chisora. The trilogy, um, not something that I, I really expected to see, I have to be honest, and, and certainly headlining at a stadium here in London. Yeah, a bit of a testimonial vibe about this one. No, it is, and it's like, it seems that supposedly there's, there's 60,000 
seats going to be here. So there's 60,000 people who are going to sit down in a cold night in December. It is mad. That just sort of says the pulling power that Tyson Fury has. It is, it is crazy. But no, listen, like, I really like Derek. I really like Tyson. But when it was announced, that I'd, I'd be, I've just got to be honest and say oh, I wasn't exactly informed by the seeing this trilogy. I, I just listen. We do know with Derek when he turns up. He's, a, he's an hard night work for anyone, but it's just it's hard, isn't it, when you've seen the first two fights. To, and in that time, you feel like Tyson has improved, has improved, but maybe the fact he's going to, you'd think, his style now, being a lot more aggressive, maybe it's going to be more entertaining than the first two. And I think you look, the second fight, he turned south, he put on a boxing masterclass. He was, he was fantastic that night. He'd probably do him better good to go back to that, to make it a... And an easier night where you think if he's going to look to put it on Derek and put it on him earlier, like they're saying, and they probably could go out there swinging in the first round, it comes for a bit of excitement. Where would this, if, if Derek Chisora is able to, to stop Tyson Fury or beat Tyson Fury, where would this rank for, for the upsets that you've seen in your time in a sport? I'd probably have to say it's the biggest, especially, I know it's heavyweight boxing, but it's it'd be right up there with the biggest. Um, I get what it is, it's, it's because of the manner of that Tyson's, one of the form he's in. Uh, Derek obviously he's coming off a good win against Pulev, but you know, before that everyone was everyone was screaming for Derek to retire after the second Joe Parker fight. So for him now, for that same fighter, what, a year on, to be almost a year on to be fighting the best heavyweight on the planet in a lot of people's opinion, it'd be a huge upset. If I had to push you for a prediction, how would you say the fight ends on Saturday night? Okay, I, do you know what? I am wanting a few where I actually think Derek will have success in the first one or two rounds where I wouldn't even be surprised, it, wouldn't even be surprised if a shot registers, but I feel like Tyson will land often enough and hard enough for it to be over by the halfway stage. I'd be surprised if it's not. Okay, well, Anthony Crawler, always a pleasure to catch up with you, especially when you're sober and not biting me. Uh, thanks very much for speaking to ID Boxing, and we'll catch up soon. Always good, mate. Good to see you.